Hi, welcome to our Lenten devotion for um, day 13 of Lent. This is geared towards our children, but really anyone and everyone can join in because you never know what you're going to get. Um, before I start, I want to um, give a couple of announcements. One is I want to remind everyone that this Saturday, March 6th, we will be having a food drive here at the church from 1 to 2.30. We'll be collecting items for Isaiah 58 Ministries. Um, we're in particular looking for jars of peanut butter because they really need that. They tend to run out of peanut butter pretty quickly. And we need those in plastic jars. Also, um, something a little different this time, we're asking for coloring books or activity books, markers, crayons, colored pencils, something like that to give so that children, when they are home, um, have something to do, especially for those children who are at risk. I think that's a great thing for them to have. So if you would like to donate those items, they'll all be going to Isaiah 58 Ministries. The other thing, I don't know if you noticed, but Flat Jesus is joining me today. Um, all of our children received in their Lenten boxes a Flat Jesus. And the children who have been coming on Monday nights for Monday Madness have been making Flat Jesuses as well. Um, to take with them and Jesus goes with us everywhere we go. Jesus is always with us and Especially during this Lenten journey. We want to see where Jesus is going with us So take those pictures of flat Jesus with your family and let's see um, Where all Jesus has been. I can't wait to see those you can email those to me at Courtney, I'm sorry wrong thing. It's C Chandler at LaDueChapel.org. Look forward to seeing those Okay, are we ready to begin? There was once a man who said and did many wonderful and amazing things. He was a teacher and a preacher. He healed people and he fed people. One day, someone asked that man, who are you? And he responded by saying, I am the light. Scripture reminds us that God says, be still and know that I am God. Will you do that with me? Be still and know that I am God. The Bible verse that we're going to read today can be found in the book of John. When you turn to the New Testament, the first four books are Gospels, and it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. John is the end of the four Gospels. And you're going to turn to chapter 14, which is where the big one four is, and we're going to look for verse 27, which in this Bible is on the next page. 27 and 28. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. Peace in the Bible is different than the way we think of peace. Sometimes we think of peace as an end to war or an end to fighting or conflict. Sometimes we think of peace as just a time to rest, and those are all very important. But biblical peace goes a little bit further. It's about becoming whole or complete. And in the midst of the chaos and craziness of our lives, that we feel that completeness, that wholeness, that stillness. And that comes from, we know, from a divine source. And for us, that's God. That's where we believe that comes from. There's a lot happening in our world lately, and there's a lot that weighs on us. Um, so I'm sure there are some things that you've been nervous about or worried about or afraid of or maybe has made you really angry. Can you think of those things or those times? As you think of those, I want you to give it to God and let that go and let God fill you with peace. And we're going to practice doing that with our breath prayer. We're going to breathe in and breathe out. Let's do that a couple of times just to practice. You ready? Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And now as we breathe in, we're going to say, God of peace. And when we let our air out, we're going to say, meet me here. You ready? Breathe in. God of peace. 
meet you here. God of peace, meet me here one more time. God of peace, meet me here. Amen. I hope that if you find yourself feeling worried or nervous or anxious about anything, that you'll stop and just repeat that prayer a few times and try to find a little bit of peace in your day. And now, the light that was in one place at one time is now in all places at all times because we carry this light with us because the light of Christ goes everywhere we go because it's in us. Oops. Knock Jesus over. And now, the peace of Christ be with you and also with you.